The Tech Temple. Wow. Yeah, I'm the boss. Yeah, the boss. The boss. Wow. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Wise Man White at the Tech Temple. Thanks for checking another video. Um, here I am with a different phone. I got the HTC One. I got rid of my Nexus 4. I just needed to learn another phone with way better speakers and a better camera. Um, so I got the M7. Just got it in the case. Didn't want to get the M8 because I just don't like the size of the M8. I think it's too big. Um, this is like perfect size for me. Um, but one thing I don't like about the majority of HTC C phones are the notification light and how they deal with it. They don't have colored LEDs, uh, multiple color like a lot of other phones do, like Samsung or um, LG. Um, you can see right now I have a notification right now. And can you? I don't know if you can see it right here. See the little tiny bitty green dot? That's the notification LED. There's no big color light, that's, that's, that's it. And one thing I don't like is if, let's say it's, it's covered and you know, it might be on the other side of the room, it might be on the dresser and someone's blocking your view. If you don't see that top of part of it, you don't know if you have a message or not. And I don't like, I think it's really harsh. I don't like the notification light, so I found something that remedies that. Let's go ahead and get right to it. And the app is called um, Lightflow. At the very top, uh, there's the paid and a free version, or light version. I went ahead and got the purchase version. So let's go ahead and install that. Accept everything, let it download. Install on, clear these all that notifications. All right, so it installed, so let's open it up. So right off, the bat, right off the bat, it gives you um, something that you have to let it have notification access to your phone. And the new versions of Android, you have to let apps give you, you have to give them permission to access certain things. So you set it up, takes you to the notification access, just put a check mark in there, just hit OK, just verifying that that's fine, then go back. And let's get started. You want to take a look, it gives you um, pretty much an interactive menu on how to use the app. We'll just skip it. And right there it tells you no, no notifications. So let's go into the settings real quick. Notification settings. And these are all the pre-installed um, setup notifications. You know, low battery, MMS. So you can set up a lot of notifications. If you want notification just for individual, certain individual people or just individual apps, you can set all that here. You want something to vibrate, you want something to make a sound, what sound you want yeah, to make, you, know, you can do all that. So it's really customizable. And here are the settings. This is the main part you need to worry about. Um, if you have HTC One or if you have any other phone, um, make sure you have enable light flow checked on the first one. And if you want dark theme, there's a, there's a dark theme if you want it. It'll just change everything dark. Uh, but I'll, I'll change it back to light because I think it's a little easier to see for this video. Um, LED brightness, reduce wake, enable clear call. This this is all default. I didn't check any of this. Just as default. Um, I don't have. I take off the upgrade version reminder because the Play Store lets you know when you have an update. So I don't see the point of having that. Go to LED control style. If you want it to blink quick or slow, you can change it right there. Sleep settings. So pretty much like quiet time. You're going to bed at 10. You don't want to another notification until six. You just set your hours there. Persistent icon. Sometimes, you know, Android kills apps in the background. If you turn this on, warning in the foreground, that makes sure that the application is always running. So you make sure you always get notifications. Um, I have, and then it will be in the drawer sometimes. Device settings and root. Now for the HTC, this is very important for the HTC One. I have mine is rooted, and the only way that I was able to get this to work was to make sure you double you check root mode, and then your phone will ask you, do you want it? Is that okay? I hit allow. This time only, it'll hit allow. One more time, this time only. Oh, sorry. Remember forever, that's what I meant to hit. 
and I also hit run every every command as root. So if you have HTC One, those are the two options you need to check. Don't, don't worry about any of the other ones, just make sure you have those. And so as you can see, um, like I said before, these are all the apps that have I just, I just say you got it. These are all the apps that have notifications already set. This is where the app already did it for you. I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, settings back so I can show you um, what you have to do. So I'll be right back and I'm gonna reinstall mine real quick. Okay, so let's take a look at my SMS settings. So go to SMS. I'm showing dash clock is so it can show on the home screen if you have the app dash clock. Exclude from sleep mode, so if you like um, have quiet hours and you want somebody to be able to get through, like an important person or a family member, it'll bypass the quiet hours and you'll still get the notification. Switch the screen on, and like I said, if you have your phone on the table somewhere far away from you or on the nightstand and you want the screen to come on as a notification instead of this little yeah, dinky light in the top left, uh, it'll, that's another way to not notify you. I like mine to come on the bottom, so I like this home button and the back button to show up. So what I do for that is I go to uh, back button LED and make sure you have solid if you have an M7. That way those two buttons will show up when you uh, get a message. So right now I showed up. Uh, I have set up a message to show you guys. So I'm going to shut this off. So I'm going to text myself. So let's have an automatic text. So in a couple seconds I should get a text. I have my SMS as you, as you saw show up that when I get a text message my screen comes on for five seconds then it'll go off. It'll also vibrate and also in the top left I'll still get that um, little notification light and I think I have the bottom one turned on too which you won't be able to see the bottom ones because the light is shining um, so that's why I have to go with the screen on. And you can do this for any app not just SMS um, and if you use Kick or another messenger app this should still work and if you want it for individuals to only come on so you don't care about you know all your other friends but you only want certain friends or family members to come on for the screen to come on when you get texted that'll work too so in a couple seconds it should come on and there we go so and then it came on letting me know I had a text message and you saw my notification in the top up here said I got a text message right there so you know it works. I decided to uh, move the lighting a little bit, so I'm turning the screen off. And before I was trying to show you that the when you do get a notification or a text message, that the back button and the home button do light up. It was kind of hard to show you in the light, so I'm, I moved it to the dark. So not only should those buttons light up next to the HTC logo, and the screen will not come on, and you will still get the light at the top. See? So there we go. So there you go. Um, light flow. Like I said, it's for any app you want to use. I got the paid version, but there's a free version out there if you want to check it. Don't forget, if you do get a paid app and you don't like it, and you tried it for less than 15 minutes, you can just return it and get a refund. So do not forget about that. That's a great feature about it, Android. Um, the app is called Lightflow. If you have any other questions or comments, um, this is Wise Man White at the Tech Temple. Leave them in the description of the video. And I got a contest coming on. For all of those with you out there with the HTC M8, I will be giving away the dot case. So stay, stay tuned for that. Um, leave in the comments again, like I said, this is Wise Man White at the Tech Temple. See you guys later. Sometimes I like slim, sometimes I like thick, sometimes I combine and I like them slick. The Tech Temple. Them slick probably went over your head. Couldn't lay up, I just went over for head Made a change of plans when she bent over the bed And now she on the balcony, pent over the ledge Been a few days, but I sent over some bread It can get rough with tuition and rent over your head Not to save hoes or rescue anybody